how to set up a Calendly account so that you can use it to create appointments and schedule meetings with potential customers and clients. So go to Calendly.com and we're going to do is we're going to click on sign up. So you have a 14 day trial of the professional plan, but you can also have a free version. So I'm just going to type in um, my email and I'm going to sign up. So sign up for Calendly for free. And put my name in here, choose a password, okay. And I agree to the terms. If you'd like to get emails about new features and news, well, if you're just starting out, it's probably quite a good idea. And just click on start. So what I'm going to do is go and get my verification one moment. So we're over in my email here and you can see I've got um, confirm my email. I will just click on yes. So that is now confirmed. And then I'm going to pop back to the screen we were on. So it's asking me to log in. Okay, here we go. Password. Make sure I, I remember the right password. <laughs> okay, so create your calendar URL. So name you or your business in a concise way. So I want to say um, Louise, let's see, LinkedIn with Louise is going to be my link. Set your time zone and then click on continue. Okay, wonderful. So now this is where you can integrate things. So if you integrate it with your Google Calendar, it's going to make sure that if you've got um, a workshop booked in for next Wednesday, that that will not allow people to book in an appointment when you've got that at the same time. So there's different uh, calendars you can integrate here. And I'm just going to continue without that for now. Next step, set up your availability. So when do you want to accept meetings with people? So let's say you don't want to start your working day until maybe 9.30. Okay, I'd like to type in my own time, thank you. You can further customize later on. Okay, because that's not working for me. So they say 4 p.m. And I don't want to take meetings on a Friday, so I'm going to untick that. So click on continue. What is your day-to-day -day role at work? So I am consultant, so I'll click on that. And then connect to your video conferencing tools. Again, I love this. So you can connect to your Zoom account, click on Zoom, and we're going to just connect into there. And that means now I will have Zoom attached, which is perfect. Okay, so um, now it says how to connect. So it wants me to connect my calendar, create an event type, book an event with yourself. So just close that down. And we've got three set up events here. So 50 minutes, 30 minutes and 60 minutes. And what do you want to do? If you want to create an event type, click on here. So let's say we want to create a strategy session. So one on one, create. We're going to call this um, Louise's strategy session. If you want to add a location in, this is where you click through and add into your Zoom directly. So it actually gives the person the Zoom link specifically. So write a summary. Um, this is a 90 minute strategy session. Please um, bring your questions. If you want any help, information in advance, please contact me at, um, and then put your email address in. I, I'm going to say something friendly. Looking forward oops, to working with you. And there's your link. So Louise's strategy session, so we don't like that. So let's take out this. <laughs> This is Louise strategy session and then you can pick your event color so friendly and cheerful let's go with green and click on next next we can see what kind of event is this is a strategy session when can they book this event um, for 30 minutes in the next 60 rolling days so it's not remember it's a 90 minute meeting we're setting up so let's set custom and it's a 90 minute meeting and um, people can book in the next two months. You might not want to do that. So maybe we'll say in the next 30 days. It's completely up to you. 
and when how do you want to offer your availability for this event type so for these sessions I think I'd like to set custom hours so I only want to do these uh, sessions on Tuesdays and Thursdays so I'm going to take out Monday and I'm going to take out Wednesday and remember I said I didn't want to work before um, 9.30 let's just change that so it says 9.30 a.m. okay and let's see do you want to add time before or after your events absolutely because you don't want people booking these back to back and you have no chance to go and fill up your water bottle um, or from anything like that. Um, show start times in increments of 30 minutes. So for example, if someone books at 9.30, um, someone could book again at 11.30 or 12.30 or 1 p.m. or 1.30, for example. Um, invitees can't schedule within four hours of an event time. Well, that's a bit much, but let's say we don't want more than two of these um, in one day, for example, let the invitee. So you, basically, you want if so, if you're working with someone who lives in a different time zone, let them book the appointment on the time zone that suits them. Okay, and then if you only want to offer this out to specific people, you can make it as a secret event. I'm gonna click on next. Okay, so the next thing is um, 90 minutes, 30 rolling days. Here's our link if we want to, if we're ready to use it. Um, invitee questions, so the name, their email. Please share anything that will help us prepare for our meeting and how's about, um, please share your social media links below. And that's not one line, that's going to be multiple lines. So apply that. Um, and anything else you want people to put in there, click save and close. And you can set up um, automatic emails to go to somebody, but that is a pro professional account feature. So if we want to use the free account, we're not going to use that. Um, notifications and cancellation policies. So your client will get an email confirmation. If you cancel it, they'll get a, an email notification. You can personalize that, of course, and you can say, um, hi, your event has been cancelled. And you can maybe say, please rebook. Um, you can set up a follow-up email if you want. Let's not do that just now. And people can get text reminders if they've given you their text, if their mobile phone number. Show your cancellation policy. Um, this is going to be a link um, to a page on your website, preferably. Um, or um, cancellations must be within, not within, um, so basically you can't cancel right before the meeting. Um, please do not cancel. I think you should get some proper language here. Um, okay, cancellations. Okay, notification <laughs> of cancelling must be with it, within, within? Be at least two hours before scheduled appointment. Okay, how's that? That makes sense, right? And um, click save and close. Um, it just takes you to the calendar confirmation page and collect payments. They have another video on that. You can check that out as well. So that's it. We have created our account. If we go here to account settings, you may want to add in your photograph. So upload your picture. Um, so let's find a headshot image on this Mac. <laughs> and where's my photograph? Here we go. I will apply. Okay. My name. Oh. Try that again. There we go. And apply. And name Louise Brogan. Welcome message and language. Date format, date, month, year, because I'm in the UK. Um, 12 hours, country, UK, time zone, save changes. Okay, so that is my profile set up on Calendly. Oh, or not. It <laughs> doesn't like it. Um, but that's where you're going to set up your account and then go to branding. You can upload your business branding. So... Um, just find a logo in here. There we go. Upload that. Make sure it fits. Oops. Apply. 
update. Oh, cancel. Save changes. Okay, that saved that time. Um, that's what the link looks like here. And that's us. So um, hopefully it will save your picture because it hasn't saved mine. I'll go to the home page and we can see now event types. Um, the 90 minute strategy session, 15 minute booking meeting, 30 minute meeting, 60 minute meeting. If you don't want people to be able to just book a 15 minute meeting without um, sending them the direct link because you want to invite them, you can go in here, click edit. And if we scroll down, um, let's see, date range, 15 minutes, what schedule do you want before and after? And additional rules for your availability. We want to make this a secret event. So only people I want to invite to connect with me will get access to the 15 minute um, event. So what that looks like on here, it's got a little line through um, to say it's a secret event. So that's what everything looks like. So good luck with creating your Calendly account and your first event types. If you've got any questions about using Calendly, I'd love to hear them below. Um, just hit subscribe and hit the little bell for more um, notifications of when I send share my next video. Any questions about using Calendly to create bookings and events for your business, please leave them below. I would be delighted to answer them for you.